going on guys <clears throat> welcome back to turner fishing so check out this lake oh man i ain't seen this slick calm in three dang weeks is whatever that song sounds like <laughs> but yeah um, so it's about eight o'clock uh, 8 a.m uh we're gonna go out here and see how fast we can catch a limit that's the goal for today we may not even catch a limit i don't know caught uh 40 40 fish limit yesterday with my son in about four or five hours so you know i'm heading out today by myself so i'm hoping i can improve that but we shall see i suppose um so my question for today for you guys is what's the best time of day that you think you know you enjoy fishing more like say for me instance i like fishing 10 a.m to 12 noon for crappy because honestly after the sun gets up and it warms up a little bit they just seem to get more active but anyway guys i'm gonna get the old crappy man rig in the water and we're gonna head over to this bridge and we're gonna get some slabs and after we hit there we're probably gonna go skip some docks uh up towards mid lake maybe towards the river but we're gonna get them let's go yeah yeah It's still slick calm should be pretty slick most of the day the wind's gonna pick up just a little bit but my depth finder is an hour behind as you can see it is seven o'clock well i don't think that thing's that's at seven feet let me dip my phone hold on that thing wrong <laughs> it is eight twelve so let's get it I've been using my long pole a lot lately, but when the days are slick like this, I'm definitely gonna be using lies in my little pole. So let's see what we working with on this filly here. Uh, I think there's quite a few there. Let me back her on up here. First cast of the day. Nice little nine ten inch fish to start today. And it is 8.25. Told me 25 minutes to get my first bite. Well, about 10 probably. Number two, a couple seconds later, get them on that pearl. Drop her back in there. This don't make no sense. Like, there's a bunch on number on the first pillar, but they wouldn't freaking bite. <laughs> there we go. 
good one. Trying to swing him in. <laughs> My pole too long, guys. Ah, there we go. Another nice chunker. That's number three. Yep. So that one, he bit it on the way the current's rolling. So what I'm gonna do, I'll whip out this little stinker real quick. I'm gonna throw it past him. Let it gently fall down. Then I'm gonna let the, the boat drift me back. Let's see what happens. There's one. Oh no, we got a. <laughs> Steven, use a net. I hear you, buddy. <laughs> Not a big deal. He wasn't a super giant. Nice fish, though. So, one of the things I want to talk about is hitting these bridges. Like, past two pillars i mean they have been stacked with fish essentially but i mean only a few of them is going to bite so i mean i'm not going to spend too much time maybe 10 15 minutes on each pillar i'm gonna run through these pillars i'm gonna go skip some docks and then i'm gonna come back once it gets a little bit hotter today i mean the water temp ain't but 67 has normally been around 70. so once it gets a little bit hotter i believe it'll make these fish go into a frenzy and I'll be able to finish my limit, whatever I don't get on the docks. So that's essentially my plan. I'm gonna go hit all these, uh, the rest of these pillars. And when I get to the docks, I'll get back with y'all and tell y'all how many fish I have and what time it is. So just give a little update, it's 9, <clears throat> 9.06, that's number 10. <laughs> Uh, we're on we got one more pillar to go before we head to the docks so i've been switching back and forth between a green minnow and a pearl minnow you know i've used one jig pretty much on both poles the whole time so that just i mean that just proves the durability of our jigs it's just unreal i mean I, i'm probably gonna catch a whole lemon on just two jigs But we got one more pillar to go and then we're gonna head and fish some docks. There's a lot of big fish here, but they do not want to bite. And also a lot of catfish. Seems like every pillar I'll be sitting at, eventually a catfish will come through. There's number 11. A catfish will come through and dang, scare them all away. <laughs> But sonar service loss. What? Panoptics transducer disconnected. No, it's not. <laughs> Number 11. Let's see if I can figure this out. So, undoubtedly, one of my cables was loose. I got it working again. So, we're at number 11. It is 9, 9 12. So. Shouldn't take too much longer. I really want to go check them docks though, because there were some big ones on there the other day that I, I that bit and I missed. And see if I can get one. But I mean, I could probably go back through these pillars and limit out honestly, and it'd be done probably by ten o'clock. So two hours, that ain't bad. But I'm strap it back up. Let's catch a couple more on this one. Well, maybe one more on this one, then go over here and catch one or two and we'll head to the docks when we got about 15 left probably
not five below got about five left <laughs> but anyway guys if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button i mean i've got content like this all the time tips videos anything and if you could hit the like button for me share this video with your buddies i mean let's get this thing popping we're we're almost at four thousand subscribers which is unreal guys un freaking real big yee yee to all you guys <laughs> but we're growing slow and steady always wins the race and i'm just glad i can teach y'all how to crappy fish and hopefully uh our jigs are just putting slabs in your boats but i know it does for us but let's get back to fishing i see the way these fish are set up you can honestly see they're right off the end of that column and that's where I'm targeting. I'm throwing directly to, like you can see, that's the, the first column that comes up, that first line, and there's a, a, a ledge, and it drops off. I want to target where it drops off. Essentially, that's where the most active fish is. These fish up here that's on this first column, sometimes they'll bite. But more than often than not, they won't. I don't understand why. But, I mean, that's fishing. I see, as I work this, I mean, they follow the jig out. This this little short pole is going to bring it to five foot. I mean, all these fish are following this jig out, but no bites. See, my jig is essentially right here. You got two of them looking at it. I mean, two good ones. That's, that's pounding and a half fish right there. God almighty, they just won't commit today. I mean, I could try, you know, a bunch of different jigs, but, well, different colors. See if I can get them to commit, but. We grocery fishing, not trophy fishing. <laughs> so let's line this up. We're gonna throw straight to the thing. I mean, I'm essentially smacking it. And that's 20 feet out. I'll let that joker go down. I got my other pole out. I'm probably not gonna get a bite, a bite on it, but if I do, essentially a bonus fish. I mean, I'll pick up the pole. I start on every pillar with the pole. See, I'm on that ledge right now and my line got slack. I thought I had a bite. <laughs> When there's this many fish, it's so hard to pick out one jig without a split shot on. But I don't want the split shot because I want it to, to seem like a, a small meal and nothing else in the way. Just try to get one of those finicky fish. But I believe that's all we're gonna get off this pillar. We've been getting about two or three off each pillar. So, I mean, it's not bad. And essentially we're, we're, what we're doing on these pillars is targeting the shadows there's shadows on this pillar and that's all i mean i'm not even fishing the other side of it i could probably get a few more bites over there but targeting the shadows and on my little rod i got the little minnow and crappy man green and then this one is the pearl you see how chewed up this thing is i used this jig yesterday there's probably been probably 30 crappy caught off this one jig <laughs> And I got some of the shad sent from my buddy Brian. It's a Johnson Crappy Buster Shad Scales Black. And what I do, I'll put it on the tail. I don't know if it helps or not, but it's one of those things that you just got stuck in your head. Like, man, if I put that on it, they're gonna bite. <laughs> but I, I just, I got some on the side of the boat just a little bit you see that little black specks on it which honestly makes me think maybe i should make like a, a salt and pepper like pearl and black flake it might work i don't know pearl such a delicate color to use because essentially every time you shoot you have to throw away everything because all the leftovers because it's really hard to reheat some stuff 
and then not change the color because I want the whitest white that you can get. And I want people that buy it to have the whitest white that you can get. I mean, all right, next pillar. Let's see what we're working with here. There's not a lot of fish on this one, guys, that I'm seeing. I'm essentially not seeing much of anything. There's one fish right there couple fish right there they're not very big so yeah we may be going to the docks there's one decent one if I can get my pole right there we go get in here boy yeah 11 incher <clears throat> using the same OG that's why we we don't use bait keepers if if this jig had a bait keeper on it i mean it would be tore up that's number 12. yeah number 12. he came off the pillar and attacked it because i didn't even see him which i mean honestly happens a lot like if you want to sit there and say that you catch every fish with live scope, I mean, congratulations. But more often than none, I'm finding a fish with the live scope and just fishing. I mean, yeah, it's it's fun sitting here target light. Right now, my jig is above this. this. I mean, that's a pound and a half fish right there just because of the dot. And, I mean, he swam away. If I sat here and targeted him all day, I mean, I, I'm not good at that yet. I haven't figured out how to, I mean, I could target some of them and they'll bite, but like this one, I mean, that's a big fish. I don't know what it is, but I mean, he's not going to bite though. That might be catfish. That's why there ain't none over here. I think that is catfish. We can check him out. Let's see. Let's zoom in. Oh. Yeah, I believe that's a catfish right there. Y'all see him right there on the bottom right of that pillar. It's a long thing moving. Let's see if we can get a whole image of him. Yeah, there he is right there. That's a little catfish. I believe that big dot right there is probably a catfish too. He's so long, so I mean, I know that ain't a crappy. I try to keep my live scope at 20 foot all the time, unless I'm in fishing a brush that's like 30 foot down which i haven't been doing lately but that time's coming and i'm i'm really excited for it this year i mean catfish if you want to buy it we we we, we can tango i put this big ac c stick to work <laughs> yeah i mean essentially that's a catfish or a bass i mean it's you ain't got 100% clarity on this thing. Sometimes, not all the time. But I mean, that's a long fish, so no, it ain't no dang crappy. But essentially with that caveat. pull up to the dock and you see a catfish on the dang screen and that's the that's what the heck wants to bite <laughs> we were just talking about a catfish i mean he freaking smoked this thing he's stuck in my trolling motor fight you come on buddy well I guess he's not ready oh. 
get him. <laughs> Some slime, I think. <laughs> This dog got some fish on it. <laughs> Let's keep it. Hopefully they're on the outside. I mean, I may have to ram my pole up under this one. But we'll try on the outside first. See what happens. Oh yeah, I should be able to get to them with this one. Throw it right there. Later, fall down. Yeah, it seems like most of them in that corner right there. There's one. Oh, missed him. Huh. You missed one all day. Oh, my hook's bent from that dang catfish. There we go. <laughs> are down there in that corner right there. Like I said, I mean, I'm not targeting these big ones. The big ones on the bite is fine, but I'm just trying to catch the limit. Got two of them looking at it. Yeah, they look kind of decent, the ones that's looking at it. But they probably won't bite it. There's one. Not a bad one. Oh, yeah. Nice one. It's old Lake Murray slab. He ain't a gigantuan, as I like to call him now. Decent one, number 14. Six more. Toss her back in that corner. Takers. Let's go back to that corner. Oh wait, there we go. That joker didn't even bite. <laughs> well, five more. I'm really just, I know the fish is down there and we're gonna catch them. If I use live scope, I'm gonna target the bigger ones and that's gonna take forever. So four more. Boom. And essentially, man, people, a lot of people say, you know, bass fishing is the easiest fish to catch. No. Uh -uh. <laughs> Even before live scope, I mean, uh, no. <laughs> I can come out here 365 days a week, put on a crappy man jig, and I'm gonna catch me a slab. I don't know how many times I come out here and I don't get a, a bass to, to bite once. So I, I don't know what people are talking about. Maybe in a pond, bass are easier to catch than crappy, but not if you know how to read electronics. Now, if you didn't have electronics and you didn't know where the fish was, yeah, it'd probably be hard. But I mean, I could find them with 2D a little hundred dollar 2d like y'all y'all remember that's what i always used at the front of the boat was a hundred dollar piranha max before i got the live scope so i don't want to hear that you can't afford a fish finder because you can get a piranha max at walmart for 110 bucks and you can find some fish and i mean maybe you're a kid and you know but you can save up for 110 bucks to get you a fish finder and you could probably find some on like Facebook Marketplace or eBay or something like that for like 50 bucks. Hell, the one I got, if somebody local needs it, I'd probably sell it for like 50 bucks. Because I really don't see the need for me to have it anymore because, I mean, it don't have maps or anything on it. It's essentially just 2D and 
I mean, the live scope up front is going to outdo a 2D. So I don't need it. <laughs> I don't even turn on my Hummingbird on the back anymore. I will once I get a new boat. So I can do a lot more side scanning, but right now it's honestly faster to drop the live scope and look for brush piles than it is with a side scan because the, the, the boat's so narrow in the back that my left side of side scan don't work because my motor's in the way. If that makes sense. Why are these fish bumping it and not committing? That's what, what I want to know. I mean, jeez. Let's see what's going on. Let's, let's, let's scan the last go over there. <laughs> I mean, is it little ones coming up or something? I feel them. I maybe just run it into them. Yeah, no. But yeah, also, if you made it this far in the video, thank you. I really enjoy making these videos for you guys. It's fun. I mean, I'm going to be fishing whether or not I'm making videos or not. Come here, boy. Another nice keeper. So we got, what, four more? I think. Maybe it's three more. I think it's four more. Not sure. We're gonna check this one up. Oh yeah. He's eight and a half. No. Oh. So still using the same old jig. Look how beat up this jig is. <laughs> we know how to fix that. We're gonna take the hook out. We're gonna take it and re-thread it. And boom, we're back in business. Let's count these fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen, so we need four more. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, we found some on another dock. <laughs> So we didn't have to run back to the brewery. The number 19 right there. Nothing special. Let's get one more. And should get bit any second. There we go. <laughs> All right, that's number 20. Nice little black crap eye. But yeah, guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit the like button for me. Subscribe if you haven't already, because if you have, I mean, you're gonna be catching them slabs all year by following the channel, using my tips, and you'll get them. But I'll catch y'all on the next one.